All right, so we had a lively discussion today about Janet Yellen and so-called empathy economics. You know, it's an interesting label. So let's take a look at the word, right? The ability to understand and share feelings, the feelings of another, right? So maybe this is the right word for the policies because it says we understand that you're hurting, but do nothing really beyond temporarily giving some relief, maybe to ease the pain. Uh, and it makes the case really, I think, for a lot of these folks who harder. I mean, talking about sufferers, right? They're never really able to heal themselves. Now, I think it's time for poor Americans to demand that politicians stop bragging about helping them. Lifting families out of poverty, right? I mean, that's one of the most dubious of all measures. We're talking about a household income of 26500 for a family of four. Stop handing out money to folks with no training in economics, encouraging them to spend it, encouraging them to save it, teach them how to save it, teach them how to invest it. Think about this. After trillions of free millions, trillions of dollars of free money in the last year, you would be shocked to learn that the bottom 90% of U.S. households saw a record jump in consumer debt, right? And the government knows this. They know you're going to go to the store, you're going to have your STEMI check, you're going to buy a couple of pairs of sneakers and look around and say, you know what, I'll buy this with my government check and I'll use the credit card and buy more things. That's not empathy, folks. So if Janet Yellen demands that poor children, if she would start to demand that the poor children of America get the same rigorous education that her children received, that would be empathy. And at some point, we would have a country where nobody would need to have any pity for anybody else. That's what I would love to see. That's empathy economics.